Welcome to the Nintendo Switch Weekend Review. We'll be covering all of the games announced this week that were not shown on the Nindy Showcase. I'll leave a link in the description below if you want to check out what Nintendo announced so we can focus here on the games that did not cover. So with that said, let's get started. The first game on the list is Team 17's Worms WMD. The Worms are back with gorgeous hand-drawn 2D look, brand new weapons, crafting, vehicles, and buildings. Work your way through 30 campaign levels where you can take up to 5 opponents in hilarious all-out tactical and warm warfare with up to eight worms each with either local or online multiplayer included and ranked gameplay. Night School Studios confirmed that Oxenfree is coming to the Switch. This paranormal thriller will put you in the shoes of Alex, a bright rebellious teenager who brings her stepbrother Jonas to an overnight party at an old military island. The night takes a terrifying turn where they unwittingly open a ghost gate spawned from the island's cryptic past. Next, Harmonix confirmed that Super Beat Sports is coming to the Switch. With the rhythmic sports gameplay with up to four players, Super Beat Sports is a collection of five sports themed mini games with a twist everything is musical that means you'll need to swing volley and score to the music in order to come out on top flying works confirmed three new games coming to the switch the first one being demo this is a rhythm game made by rayart games and the same team behind implosion it will be released in japan this month and it's a port of a hit mobile game with the same name it features about 230 songs no specific number of songs for the switch has been confirmed yet the second game they confirmed coming to the switch is tesla grad this is a 2d puzzle platform Platformer that was already available on the Wii U, where players wield the power of electromagnetism to solve puzzles and battle terrors as they work towards learning the secrets of the abandoned Tesla Tower. It boasts over 100 beautiful hand drawn environments and challenging levels. Kingdom New Lands was listed on the eShop for a September 14th release. This game builds upon the award winning gameplay of the original game Kingdom, where you travel to new lands and welcome a deluge of new mounts, merchants, and vagrants that call these isles their home. But be wary though, these new options obstacles will threaten your arrival. Double Dragon 4 from Arc System Works is confirmed coming to the Switch. This entry in the side-scrolling action series takes place after the elimination of the Black Warriors in Double Dragon 2, where new enemy characters are included with ninjas, karate masters, and sumo wrestlers. Urnaga Unlimited is confirmed coming to the Switch. This is a classic 2D puzzle platformer where you solve puzzles to collect animals, boasting challenging boss fights where if you survive long enough you may even meet the Urnaga. It offers solo and share co-op screen with multiple endings. Blossom Tales is also confirmed coming to the Switch. This is an action adventure game that will have you exploring vast open world, visiting dungeons, battling enemies, and solving puzzles. It features over 15 hours of gameplay with huge diverse game world in different locations, 5 challenging dungeons, and various items inspecting gameplay and fighting style. Inner Space is also confirmed coming to the Switch. In this exploration flying game, players are thrown into the role of the cartographer who is tasked with uncovering the long forgotten secrets of the ancient deities that once inhabited the land. You'll discover paths to uncharted worlds where gravity pulls outwards instead of grounding the planets to the center. Rain Games also confirmed that World to the West is coming to the Switch. This is actually the standalone follow-up to the previously mentioned Tesla Grad, a lush top-down adventure that takes place across the corrupt colonies and ancient ruins of a newly discovered continent. Devs have confirmed that it will also be featuring full HD rumble support and the game runs on par with the playstation 4 version shots fire is also coming to the switch early 2018 this is a pixel art assassination simulator featuring challenging hide and seek gameplay as you use clues to uncover the execute your targets enjoy a host of mini games including car chases scavenger hunts hacking and more and be amused by the carefully crafted comedy and satire as shots fire lampoons pop culture and modern society devolver digital also confirmed that piku Nico is coming to the switch this is an absurd puzzle exploration game that takes place in a strange but playful world where not everything is as happy as it seems help the town folk face their fears uncover a deep state of conspiracy and rebuild cheerful communities in a delightful dystopian adventure nikal has confirmed that save me mr nako or tatsuke taco san is confirmed coming to the switch this platformer rpg crossover is a love letter to both Game Boy pixel art style and old school platformers in the story mode you play as an octopus hero that has over 40 different power-ups. The game will also feature local co-op play and competitive play. 
The cartoon show Ban 10 is also getting a game on the Switch from Outright Games. The listing up here on Amazon and this action game brawler is listed for release later this year. Sumiko Gurashi, Sumiko Park A Yosuko from Nippon Columbia is coming to the Switch. This is a party game that will launch in Japan on December 7th and it supports 4 players in a style board game featuring 27 mini games in the unique theme park. And the last game we'll be covering this week is Opus, The Day We Found Earth, and also the last game that Flying Works announced for the Switch this week. This is an exploratory adventure game where the players have to use a space telescope and search through the cosmos looking for Earth. By locating and scanning nearby stars, players make progress and unlock areas of the spaceship. That's all the games we'll be covering this week. As per always, thank you guys so much for watching, and be sure to come back next week for another Nintendo Switch Weekend Review. See ya!